Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, Miguel here giving you another Black Ops commentary. I am playing Jungle, uh, I'm playing the map Jungle and Domination. And um, to be totally honest, I don't play the objective that much because I, t I really don't need to. Um, we don't need a cap a lot because the other team, I play a lot of defense. And uh, to be totally honest in this game, I play a lot of defense and I play a lot of camping mode. So if you like don't hate because that's basically how I play. People play differently. And it seems to work because on domination, camping and playing defensively is a pretty viable strategy because they have to cap those flags to win. And if you defend those, uh, those flags well, then you know, it's a very viable strategy. And right here, I kill these people watching the flag because to actually cap the flags, you have to kill the people around it. You can't just run directly and cap the flag because there's going to be people watching it. So you have to kill the people around it and then cap the flag. So that's basically what I'm doing. I'm helping to kill the people around the flag. And um, the loadout for the class I'm using is FAMAS with dual mags. I freaking love the dual mags attachment. It allows me to reload faster and it gives me those extra um, bullets. And I like to. St I like, I'm a pretty spray happy uh, player, and I like to. I like that extra ammo because it allows me to. Because I like to stay alive longer, and it allows me to like you know shoot those extra rounds. And then Famas is just a great gun in general. Um, but I basically wait for Commando, and I switch to Commando once I reach level 44. And for my secondary, I use Estrella, which I use to shoot down aircraft. But in this map, it's kind of hard to shoot down aircraft. Um, because a lot of uh, brush and trees and stuff blocking the sky. If you look up, all you see is vine and stuff. So that's pretty hard. And uh, you can also use that as cover. Like right here, I use the brush as kind of cover. And some guy just runs right up to me. And, you know, I just take him out. And then, uh, so yeah. So I, I like to be kind of a team player. And I like to shoot down aircraft. Like especially spy planes and counter UAV. And uh, that's why I have Estrella up. Uh, and I, because I don't need a secondary because light of hand I don't need a pistol or anything I just reload uber super fast so that's something to think about when you have your class load up like think about what's redundant and what works with one another so um yeah the perks I'm using is ghost pro and for anyone who like hates on ghost pro like please don't it's a viable part of the strategy or part of the game and it's a very viable strategy to use so like a lot of people I understand a lot of people complain oh it's broken or oh it's um you know in balance or something but if people just see it as newbie I don't understand why it's not that bad to use it like the noob tube was definitely broken with like one man army or scavenger I, I definitely see that as broken because you can just keep on reloading your noob tube and noob tube was definitely a one hit kill but in this game with like flat jacket and stuff um you, you, you don't die instantly from noob tubes and you don't Get, your new two doesn't get refreshed from scavengers, so it, 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 it's definitely not broken in this game. Um, and I don't, I don't feel Ghost Pro is broken either because, like on big maps like these, it's like I like to put on Ghost Pro because you can easily run around and evade enemy UAV and stuff. But in small maps like uh, Nuketown or Firing Range, you can like you see where everyone is, so there's really no point of UAV. I mean, there is a point of UAV, but it's like not as useful as like, these big maps. And so you can see where everyone is. So I, t I tend to use Flak Jacket on uh, these small maps because it's so grenade happy and there's so many grenade lanes and there's so many like napalm strikes. So uh, Flak Jacket and Flak Jacket Pro definitely help on like Newtown and Fire Ranges and those like small maps. And um, I'm also using Sleight of Hand. I used to use Steady Aim, but now I like to use Sleight of Hand because. Uh, I'm not that spray happy and I like to aim on the sights now and I like that super fast reload. It allows me to take off my secondary for the Estrella. And then I'm also using Marathon. Uh, I'm just too lazy to actually get the Marathon Pro perk. I know some of you aren't lazy. I just freaking hate count capture the flag. It just irks me. Um, it's not a fun, fun game to play. I just don't like it. And uh, yeah. So I don't know if you noticed, but I'm actually playing on the PC, playing Black Ops on the PC, and I know a lot of you people are like, um, oh, a PC sucks, and consoles are so much better, and, you know, PS3 and Xbox or 60 is where it's at. Uh, I, I disagree with you, because PC gaming is where gaming started. Um, like, everyone, like, has different opinions, but I see PC gaming as the best, like, 
some I know some people like the controller with the joysticks and I personally I like the um, the mouse and the keyboard because it, I feel like it's more accurate and just a quick tip right here don't try and gun battle anyone because you're gonna lose because of the barrels they provide tons of cover so don't really try and gun battle anyone on this lane just run down to the B flag or whatever but yeah PC gaming and uh, for those of you who don't know I built my own PC because I game a lot and it's a lot cheaper to build your own PC for like those high-end computers my computer cost about 800 bucks to build if you if you try and bought it from like Dell or HP or something it would easily cost over a thousand so you know I saved just over like two hundred dollars from just like production costs and stuff and something to note about PC, building your own PC is you get higher quality parts because these like manufacturers like Dell and HP they have to um they buy wholesale products so for like obviously cheaper products so they buy tons and tons of like memory sticks and which is super low quality you know, to save to save um to save money and so when you buy your own stuff from like manufacturers like Newegg and stuff you're actually getting higher quality products so yeah and uh, for those of you who don't know a PS3 and Xbox 360 is basically a computer they have the same exact components they have a GPU, they have a processor, they have motherboard, RAM, blah blah blah, hard drive. So you know, don't don't uh, like hate on the PC because PS3 and Xbox 360 are basically PCs. So um, and PC gaming is where I started. You know, I actually had a 360, I had a Xbox 360, and then I sold it because I just didn't particularly enjoy it as much as PC. Yeah, a lot of people play it. Yeah, it caters to a whole variety of audiences. Yeah, everyone can play it. Yeah, like my brother can play it. But PC gaming, I just feel a lot more comfortable with it. It's, it's in my zone. You know, I I I've, I've always started out with PC games. I don't particularly enjoy the controllers, and like I don't feel comfortable with the controllers. So that's something to know. What 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 console and what uh, platform and what especially what do you feel comfortable aiming with? And throughout my whole PC career, I've actually um. I've been playing for, uh, FPS's, which is basically like my main like joy. That's like what I like playing. I don't really enjoy MMORPGs, or I'm not particularly good at it. That's why I'm not. I, I enjoy stuff I'm good at, and I'm not particularly good at MMORPGs. Like, yeah, I played MMORPGs. Like I don't know if you guys know, but I played like Ragnarok and stuff like that. And yeah, it was fun for a while, but I didn't particularly enjoy it. But you know, I started out with Counter Strike 1.6. And I talked about it in my other video, but I love Counter Strike 1.6. It's like the best game. Uh, it has like, one of the hardest learning curves. So if you want to get good at PC, uh, first-person shooters, definitely learn, definitely play um, Counter Strike 1.6 because of the huge learning curve. And um, uh, if I didn't already tell you the final score, I don't mean to spoil it for you, but the final score is 66 and 9 domination, and we also win the game on domination. So that's good. And uh, if you want to know my PC loadout, I'll post the description also, but I'll also say I have a AMD Phenom x4 quad core. Um, AMD Phenom 2 x4 quad core, I'm sorry. And I have it overclocked to about 3.6 GHz. It's unlocked, so I'm uh, block edition, which you can change your multiplier with. Uh, if you don't know what that means, then that means I can use it. But yeah, I overclocked it, and then I have the ATI 5770 video card. My computer is pretty much like mid-end uh, for like the, the market because I bought this about last year so you know a lot of new products have come out. I don't know, 6,000 series for me has come out, like the 500 series for me has come out. Yeah, and I have uh, 4 gigabytes of RAM and 500 gigabyte hard drive. Yeah, 500 gigabyte hard drive, 7,200 RPM and a gigabyte. Brand, not not like the, the, the size, but the gigabyte brand uh, motherboard, and a NZXT case, and I have like some cool case fans, like weird neon colors and stuff like that. But yeah, you know, if you ever need help or want advice on like buying computers and stuff like that, I can definitely help. You know, just hit me up on YouTube, post a comment or uh, post a message. Like, oh, what like what video card do you recommend for this and that and you know, I'll give you a good, I'll give you a good, uh, you know, recommendation. So you know, just ask me, and I'll be, I'll be happy to help.
And something I like about the PC over 360 and uh, PS3 is that you have better graphics and they you can actually right, get to change in. the parts to what you want. And so this game is actually coming up to an end. So uh, I go 66 and 9. And if you like this video, you know, like, comment on it, and definitely subscribe. Uh, if you like me, subscribe. Alright, peace out.